Okay, it looks like we are now live, fantastic. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Food Travel Talk TV, a monthly talk show brought to you by the World Food Travel Association, the world's leading authority on food and beverage tourism. Food Travel Talk TV was created by and for the world's culinary travel trade. Our goal with the show is to inspire us all with ways to help us do business better. Every month, we invite industry thought leaders, opinion makers, and trendsetters to discuss important topics for our industry's benefit. My name is Eric Wolf, and I'll be your host today for our February 2021 episode number 11. This month's topic is Sustainability Issues in Culinary Tour Operations. And I'd like to introduce our guest, Paul Fages, who is the director of Turismo, a tour operator based in Girona, Spain. Hello, everyone. Feel free to post your questions at any time in the chat window. We will reserve the last 20 minutes or so for our guests to answer your questions. And during the show today, we would like to invite you to participate in our poll about how your company's sustainability efforts have changed in the past year. Look for the poll when it launches and cast your vote. Now I'd like to set the tone for today's episode. As many of you know, our association's mission is to preserve and promote culinary cultures through hospitality and tourism. We do this partly through our education programs that teach responsibility for sociocultural, economic, and environmental issues in the food and beverage tourism industry. Obviously, culinary tours are an important part of our industry, and for many travelers, their experience on a food or beverage tour can set the tone for their entire destination experience. Today, we'll talk with a successful tour operator in Catalonia, a region rich with food and beverage products and experiences. We'll hear from Paul about what his company has done to set responsible precedents for the new normal. Hi, Paul. Welcome. Hello. Thank you so much. So, Paul, tell us, apart from what's going on right now with COVID, how would you say, or what would you say, rather, are the main issues facing culinary tour operators right now, at least for when tourism resumes? Well, uh, I think that now it's it's a challenge, and that we need to 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 move on in our comfort zone, and also uh, facing that the the new travelers and the new trends. It's since we came from from periods of times that the people travels to discover a destination, no? and on Monday always they ask you where did you go? Uh, go to Costa Brava. Then next follow up they said. Uh, what did you do? No, I did a, a show cooking, but now I think the that will be it's all about people, no? and they will ask you, uh, who did you know? Oh, I met a chef in the area, a local chef in a, a small restaurant in a medieval town, and I have a great conversation. So I think that the COVID give us the importance of the human behavior and and about people people where I live and people that works in different regions and destinations. No? So here we are to welcome all American travelers and people all over the world to discover our people. I don't know. It's no. a, yes. Sorry, go ahead. No, it's it's important uh, that the people and gastronomy, no, because always when we to, when we talk about gastronomy tours, uh, the most important thing is the the product, no, the product, the meal. But we need to think that behind this meal, it's someone that cook this meal, but it's someone that cultivate this product, and so this is the the most important thing. We call that the faces behind the places here at the association. Yeah. yeah. Faces behind and faces behind the product, huh? yeah. and and now the our challenge is uh, and this time, uh, this time that is locked down, uh, we're time to do a research and to discover new local producers, uh, and people that also starts to uh, develop new products, uh, new cheese, new uh, pastries new recipes, no? And, and I think that it's uh, the most important uh, part of our job is to do a great research together with other collaborators. Yeah, and I think a lot of times when we talk about sustainability, people 
almost always consider that to be environmental, but they forget that there's economic sustainability, which could be things like people's salaries. It could be things like fair trade issues, uh, income equality, gender equality in, in um, income as well. And then um, there's also the sociocultural impact, and that's the, the people themselves. And the people are really the destination's greatest resource. Of course, there's the food and drink products and experiences, but it's the people that bring them to life. Yes, and in terms of quality, always in this, this period of time that uh, we are in, in, in lockdown, no, we start, for example, to, to, to make a... Uh, well, to work in a, in a certification, a biosphere certification, no, in terms of sustainable of our region, but also sustainable in how we work in our office and how we can uh, contribute, no, in this uh, climate change and also sustainable uh, goals, no, for the worldwide. And and it's time to to introspective to think about to look to look at your eyes as said. What I want to be you know, when I was uh, old, you no, know? and and how can I can contribute in the uh, to the society in terms of uh, economic, but also uh, people, uh, towns, region, and and cultural. You know? So we we already the sustainable th uh, tourist the sustainable tourism always is uh, it's it's about. Uh, make a richness of our regions make uh, mm, put together different people different professionals different uh, ways uh, to to look at uh, the society uh, and do a, a nice package a nice itinerary with uh, only not only gastronomy activities it's cultural heritage uh, insider access local uh activity na activities on the nature so combining no combining a walking tour and a, and a wine tasting facing the sea combining a sailing tour along the coast and a show cooking on a fish museum combining things no it's also the concept of cross selling it's uh, we sell um, a product a base product it's gastronomy to discover gastronomy but also to discover the cultural heritage together with our architecture uh, thing uh, together with our uh, nature and and real life and bed watching and you can combine no, a bird watching uh, half day tour in one of our natural parks and after having a great lunch mm. and the most important thing the after lunch with a, a coffee with a, a coffee produced in our region and then the pastry it's very important no the pastry after the coffee no? and finally well a nice walk around a medieval town and if you are in girona you can taste uh, uh, a michelin ice cream no with uh, jordi rocker brothers uh, and it's this it's it's a tailor-made but always focus on who is the people that is visiting us not all the itineraries are the same because it depends on the people that is coming on this tour that's a challenge that is very uh, uh, difficult sometimes to to develop no? because we are not producing like a thousand uh, tours um, equal no no each tour is different according to the people that are visiting to us singles seniors families friends uh, the, uh people it's uh, like chefs professional chefs people that are um that wants or, or they, they are uh personal or home home chefs no and depends what do you want to to do how many days you have and well it is your budget on this tour and we will find the right restaurant, the right producer, the right region, and important, the right place to stay. Paul, well, you were talking about the SDGs before, 
And does your company do anything with those United Nations Sustainable De Development Goals? Have you have yeah. you downloaded them and have you thought about how to incorporate them into your business process? In our business process, we incorporate uh, a tour, for example, in Girona, and look, uh, we we pinpoint the places where we can talk and we can explain a real example or real uh, a case study, you know, of each of these uh, 17, no, uh, in terms of, uh, well, waste of uh, food or in terms of sustainable, in terms of energy, renewable energies, in terms of uh, human behaviors. And we try to, now it's the process and we are still working on, uh, to change our tours, including in each of our in each of our activities and tours, some parts of these seventeen uh, sustainable uh, objectives that the uh, uh, United Nations uh, give us. Uh, it's for this reason that we we are uh, now taking part of this uh, process to to have the the biosphere certification that hopefully will be in March. Also, we have uh, we, uh, partic we are participating uh, with Barcelona City Hall in a certificate of a commitment of sustainable uh, um, tours and tourism as a sustainable certified uh, travel agency that works with Barcelona, and we are commit and we are compromised with a uh, with a sustainable uh, certification, and also including and try to find also collaborators and suppliers that are in the same uh, in the same uh, level or uh, willing to uh, to work with the sustainable uh, objectives and goals uh, also i don't know eric but it's a uh, I was in New York in 1999, working in New York at the tourist office Spain. It was the time of Ferran Adria, no? Uh, was this the, 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 most, the most important chef that we have here at the, that time? And, and I'm very, I know, I think I know the American travelers, no? And, and it's our main market here. And also in Costa Brava, Costa Brava, as you know, well, here behind me, you have the first poster it's pretty 1986, the first promotional poster that the Tourist Authority of Costa Brava produced at that time. And in Costa Brava and Girona and Catalonia, it's made for, as I told you in, in previous conversations, no? it's small companies, small companies, and also small towns. We have our, our best, best ambassador is Barcelona, of course, but Barcelona, it's more than Barcelona. Even Barcelona, the people only knows one of the neighborhood of Barcelona, where is the cathedral area. But it's only, it's a small neighborhood. But you have other ones. And you have 15 food markets in Barcelona, not only La Boqueria. You are also have 15 no, local markets. And behind, and after, like, next to Barcelona, no? You have a, a wine region that is Penedès, that is the, the well-known, no, Penedès. But also you have Alella. So we have a lot of things to discover. And and the challenge is how we can connect, no, in a, in a, in a tour, 10 days tour, to discover the, the, the second level, no? we have the champion, the champion leagues, uh, high class, no? Sagrada Familia and Gaudí Tour, but we have also another level. No? And now we are in Catalonia, basically we are working in a, that we, we call it the Grand Tour, we will launch it uh, probably in July, the Grand Tour, that is in 15 days you will discover all Catalonia and you will have different experience along Catalonia, no? Well, Paul, sorry, let me let me ask you, you were talking about something really interesting before. Yeah. How, how does a company apply for that certification that you were talking about before? The Biosphere certification. Well, this is uh, uh, the, the Catalan government gives 
opportunity to the you know that in Catalonia we had uh, four regions no Girona Barcelona uh, Tarragona and Lleida and uh, uh, Barcelona Tourist Tourist Authority together with Barcelona City Hall uh, starts uh, this certificate no this buyer first certificate to all the companies that have tours of work with in, in terms of tourism business work with Barcelona area no? and uh, we apply through uh, uh, the Catalan agency or the tourist authority of the government uh, as a company as the affiliate we apply and they decide well uh, of course you pass uh, a previous uh, a previous um, uh, questionnaire and uh, we applied said and why you want to do this uh, just to have the the label or what what you want no which is no no I want not just have the label that I have the buyer's fair certificate I want to develop something else a part of the label so it's also a commitment and a personal commitment in that case myself no as a ceo a personal commitment that all i will all my workers and also all my suppliers and collaborators i will put a big family no that also goes in the same direction of sustainable but not only for our region it's a it's a worldwide sustainable it's 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 our world we need to work uh, to all of us. It's true. You were talking before about some of the tours that you're putting together, and I'm just wondering how you handle waste for the food products, but also the food and beverage packaging with your guests when you're on the tour. How does how does that work out for you? Well, was thanks to our, one of our suppliers that that uh, give us an idea well they they also do a research and they used it's a supplier well a collaborator for uh, sailing tours it's a traditional boat and they they start using sugar cane uh, products to uh, because they have the uh, it's interesting because doing a sailing tour you know you are on, uh, on the sea and the wind gives you sometimes that you are uh, with uh, with the glass no and you put it in glass there in uh, uh, on the on the boat and then the wind comes and the glass goes directly to the sea and if it's a plastic glass the sea will have a problem and the fish will have a problem so they improve and it's a it's a company uh, a local company no uh biocompost and they offer us uh well this this product sugar cane and packaging with craft etc so in all the picnics or place that we are uh work with we use this packaging no also for example when we need to select a restaurant it's important to know which, which vessel they use, no? And here in my region, we are proud of uh, well, it's a region of ceramic, uh, important ceramic producers, no? Mm -hmm. And all the restaurants they're starting now changing, and using ceramic, no? To uh, to all these uh, uh, for tables uh, and also for cooking. And the waste of the food. First, it's important to know. It's remember when I said. It's important who is traveling with us and we ask are you people that will uh, you love to have big plates and big a lot of food on your table or just simple it's important because here uh, we are in a local in a rural restaurant now you come there and you have like a salad no salad no a big salad an XXL salad and a roast beef no no a big one listen i'm not the kind of uh travelers that uh, I, I need an xxl salad just a small salad just small sausage and some potatoes not full of potatoes so we need to make a lot of questions to our travelers to understand how what they want to discover where they want to to go to eat 
and how much they want to eat. No? And then we balance, said, hey, I will come with a couple, but please, standard salad, small salad. Don't okay. worry. Paul, were these initiatives for the restaurants moving towards ceramic and you're using the sugarcane plastic uh, in your work, were these initiatives started by the regional government or a business association or how did all of these changes start in your area? Uh, with ceramic was an initiative from the, our, well, in my case, in, in, in La Bisbal de Empordà, that is the capital of this region and the capital of the ceramic in, in, in Catalonia and also, and well known, uh, was the city hall and the ceramic association. I said, we, we did a, a, a food, we call it a food travel, uh, no, food table, food table, ceramic, food ceramic table, no? Uh, food, food and ceramic table. So we put in the middle of the table, then the food, and this food, and ceramic, which kind of ceramic it needs to this food. And we do a, ma a, a, a matching, no? And then the, the ceramic producers comes, offer their possibilities, no? and the restaurants said, I will need this one. And always it's also tailor-made, it's, it's, it's personalized. It's not, they are, we are not have a factory that produce a hundred of vessels, hundred of glasses. No, no, no. How many glasses you want? Which kind of glasses you want? And we will do it just for you with this color. Another restaurant has another one. And it's interesting because the first, we uh, started three years ago. The first one, it's only the came the restaurants and the ceramics and now comes a lot of families that listen I want also for my honeymoon no for my my wedding I want a, a special one we my grandma when they get married the most important present in a marriage in, in a wedding was the whole uh, dishes no for the, the the house so I used to have and I use now every day having the plates, the glass, the everything eh, and cook with some uh, uh, ut uh, utilities at the, uh, in our in our um, uh, kitchen cuisine from my grandma. But at that time was very important for her this. And now we start in terms of uh, recovering and, and back to the back to the basics, no? Uh, in twenty twenty one, I think that we need to go back to the basics. Uh, it's a long time that I don't see my fathers. They are in Barcelona. I'm here. Uh, my f my my family. It's a long time that they don't see their grandsons, no? So, and the most important thing now is to have a table. 15 people in the table and a great food and time to love the food to talk about and to discover and to look in our eyes and, and have a big hug and a big kiss no but always with a glass of wine a piece of cheese or an apple pie an apple pie because here we are a great producers of apples. No? Apple pie from Catalonia. Usually yeah, that's an American Apple thing. pie from Gualta, that it's a local town, and this uh, apple producer first is very well known for apples. No, the the Girona apple. It's a it's a brand Girona apple. No? Okay. Poma de Girona, a Girona apple. But they produce the apples. Then they start doing apple juice. Then cider. And now they have a restaurant and all is about people, that is the producers, but it's all about apple. And they do the, the, the steak with apples, uh, spaghettis with apple, uh, et cetera, oh, et cetera. No? Yes, Not in sure Walter, like the it. local town, just 300 inhabitants during the year. And in this restaurant, we have the, 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 the places and all the apple trees. And it's fantastic to walk around with an electrical bike working or with your car or, or with you in and always with friends families 
or local guides. Hey, let me um, just make sure that everybody knows that the poll is open. So if you'd like to go ahead and vote on the poll, that would be great. And then we'll share those results in a little bit. So, Paul, have you seen, have people started to to try and book tours with you for, for this year and next year right now? Well, the first tour, I hope, with American Travelers will be 21st of September. The first couple that already make the confirmation was 21st of September. Okay. And now we are working also with the local government, with the Catalan government, and the Spanish government, but basically with the Catalan government, saying that we are trying to restart and, and reactivate the economy and saying that all the people that has already uh, the, vaccine, the, the, the vaccine, no? Uh, already uh, vaccinated, they can have uh, free to travel around, no? And now I think that it's a movement internationally, you know, this passport, you know, this healthy passport, passing passport, yeah. passport that, or I have in the vaccine passport, so you can come. Well, uh, actually, I, I think that it's Israel has the 90% of the, the population already uh, has the, the vaccine, no? The oh. vaccine, yeah, Israel. So why not? If you are already, you don't need the mask, you, you have, and it's, it's, uh, they have the controls and everything. So I think that now it's important to work on this passport worldwide in order to reactivate the tourism uh, and travelers. But of course, it's important that we will, the travelers, there will small groups uh, and the importance of small groups uh, or split the big groups in a small. So, and in terms of quality, and experience that's very important normally the the food travel itineraries it's uh, it's also important to do it in, in small groups because then you can interact uh, a lot and you can uh, and the places it's not uh, big big places for 50 people in the simultaneously uh, do a show cooking so it's all about 10 of course, a couple. We work a lot of with couples or families or friends of six, eight, and it's a great number. No, it's a great number. Well, but well, I wanted to ask you if if you had noticed that there was a trend that more customers were bringing their behaviors and preferences towards sustainability with them when they traveled, but maybe. Maybe what were you noticing before the pandemic? Were people increasingly asking about this? Yes. No, uh, before, I think that it starts, I can tell you that it starts in 2018, no? Uh, people starts, uh, we, well, our first tour of, uh, of uh, ODS, no, of uh, Sustainable Objectives, was in uh, 2019, no? And starts asking for sustainable starts, asking for for uh, local uh, insider access, insider uh, f uh, local tours, uh, travel like a local uh, stars th in this, no, in, uh, of the the communities, uh, know the communities, know the people. So it's it's a tendency, no. But now this this tendency is is it's already here, no. Is uh, you need to work on this, on this, uh, this road, on this line, on this uh, future. No, it's 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 a present, sustainable. Because the next crisis now is this is a health and economic crisis. But the next one, it's the climate change crisis, yeah. the 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 environmental the our the biosphere so it's it's the next crisis because we are uh, the sea the water uh, everything the the construction so we need to be care be careful and if you are i'm i'm a i'm a, we are a family i have my kids that it's 9 and 12 years old and this crisis the actual crisis of health and economic they will be the ones who are paid for. So it's my responsibility, which wall I will leave to my my sons, no? So well, I, really, need, I, I need to do something. 
And now, yeah, we all need to do something, but it's it's kind of everything is is becoming important now. So we've been talking about environmental sustainability for years. And then with last year, we saw the Black Lives Matter and things of racial equality and economic injustice and immigration and all of these things came to a head. So those are the um, economic and sociocultural issues. And it's, it's almost like everything, we have to think about everything now. It's, it's, it's not just, let's go book a holiday, but, you know, uh, is, is the fuel that's being used sustainably sourced? I mean, no, it's, and sustainable, it's, it's not only and, and Sustainable is not only environmental. It's also, uh, for example, uh, women's, the, leader, the, the leadership from the women's, no? the equal between genders, no? female and male, no? and also how many chefs are women and how many chefs are men, the gastronomy. Uh, now we only talk about the, the, the top 10 chefs are males. No, no, we have, and, but who, who was the ones that starts with the cuisine? My grandmom, not my grandfather, my grandmom. It's my mom who do. The, the cooking at home but in terms of marketing it's the chef it's Juan Roca but behind behind Juan Roca his wife is running the hotel Casa Cacao in Girona no? so now it's also the equal in terms of male and, and female in the companies also no? and salaries and everything and also in terms of races no the the well uh, it's not only sustainable, it's not only the green sustainable. It's True. people sustainable, human behavior sustainable, male and, and gender sustainable. So we need to balance everything and look at, okay, in terms of the food waste, no? Uh, children, uh, what we can do uh, to, to work with not only our community. First is our community. First is my neighbors, of course. First is my family. Then is my friends. Then is my community, local community. Then is my region community, the Catalan community, the Spanish community, the European community, but the worldwide. I need to move this. I'm incoming to operator, basically. I don't do outbound. But the ones that do outbound, they need to be responsible. If they send people to Africa, they send people to United States, they send people to Australia, to Greece, to Ireland, to Scotland, they need to be care of the local communities there. Me, as an incoming tour operator, I need to uh, take care of my region where I work with and my collaborators and the families of my collaborators. So that means that if I receive an, a payment from my clients already in the tw in, in February 20th, if I already have the money, I need to pay my, my collaborators. Why I need to wait 16 days, 60 days? No, if I already have the money, I will pay directly. I don't need to wait because they need this, this person have a family and need to pay the invoice. So it's also this sustainable. Let me Be responsible that. on this. If I have the money, I will pay directly. I don't need to wait 30 days. Why? Well, it's funny that you say responsible because that's the word we actually use here at the association. We, we don't like sustainability because it sounds too passive. Yeah. And responsibility is more active, proactive. Active. Right. We are all responsible. You are responsible as a business owner. I am responsible as a tourist. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you, because I was yeah. listening to you, you, what you were saying, have you ever felt like when you're traveling in another country and let's let's say that maybe you're traveling in somewhere in Southeast Asia or Africa or parts of Latin America, even do you feel like you are promoting economic colonialism because I have traveled in some places and they're doing a city tour and it's, it's, it's almost like, let's go look at the poor people, you know? And I feel like this, they must feel terrible 
right? Mm-hmm. That that people are coming to look at them. The tourism office or the tour operator thinks they're doing a city tour, but it doesn't look like that way to the locals. But then the people say, well, the locals want the money from from the tourists. And it's almost like I don't want to go to those places because I feel like I'm using them for, for tourism. Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And well, I'll take a personal example. No, In 2008, I was traveling to Cameroon uh, in Africa. Uh, and I have this, this sensation no, that... I'm coming there. And it's like I'm a dollar, a dollar man, no? Oh, 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 wait, uh, and, and and I tried to change my mind. I said, "Well, I'm here to discover the region. I'm very. I, I know that it's a it's a poor region. And while I'm traveling 2008, what can I do for them? And I and I do so." what they need no and i sit down in a community in in a local town uh, and and i ask the people no I said what do you want to to listen or to learn from me i'm from barcelona spain uh, and i explain my my day to day no what my day, my agenda what the, what i do what and i try to transmit knowledge and to do an educational and, and sharing and sharing, no, and also try to be the empathy. Uh, you are here, and it's uh, people said I would love to have a restaurant here in this town. It was Idol. It's a north of Cameroon. Okay, but uh, I don't have chairs. I don't have tables. And I said I don't need a table. I don't need a chair. I only need you cook something for me with the local products that you have. I don't need to come. I will adapt myself to the circumstances. Uh, and and I think that the travelers need to adapt where they go. Not the local people. And, and first, I think that the travelers need to adapt to the local people. And the local people, of course, need to adapt to the travelers. No? But these things, it's like a win-to-win situation. I need to adapt to them. I don't need a table. I will sit down. Yeah. I will merge. So, and for example, I, I don't ask that the American travelers comes here and speak Spanish. No, no. My responsibility is to speak English. No. But well, if you speak some Spanish, you speak some Spanish, and I will speak some some English. So, well, fantastic. Win to win. No. It, this is in terms of language, but in terms. I think that uh, we need to adapt, no? And and I see a, a questions here, no? How I said, uh, how can you proactively reduce the number of people trying to come to Barcelona? This is the the question of our mayor, no? They don't want tourism, the tourism phobia. No, no, I want people to Barcelona. You come to Barcelona, but you need and you uh, you need to to go out of the comfort zone, and be more proactive to discover more than Barcelona. Stay one day in Barcelona, but then the next, the following day, go to another region 20 minutes from Barcelona. And then we can split all the tourists. But isn't Catalonia... Arrive to Barcelona and then split. Barcelona is the, the door to Catalonia region. And I heard that Catalonia is trying to get people more into the rural areas to get them yes. outside of Barcelona. Is, yeah. Tell us about that program. Uh, it's called Barcelona Much More, no? And and also it's uh, Barcelona Much More, that is the, the, pro, the province of Barcelona. And also, uh, uh, and we know Barcelona receives approximately 70 million people, tourism. And Barcelona and Catalonia, 19. So the numbers is this, huh? 17. So what we need to do? Barcelona is the 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 hub. No, all the people arrive to Barcelona. Yeah. Flight, train, or cruises. We arrive there, and then we need to inf- promote that we have something else for example in terms of modern modernist uh, uh, architecture 
Barcelona, we have the, the Holy Church, the Gaudis, etc. But next to Barcelona, just 20 minutes from Barcelona, it's another town that has a spectacular buildings of modernist style made by another architect, Domènech Montané, that is not Gaudí. So try to combine and try to uh, to visit other things and, and not focus on the on, on this the only neighborhood of Barcelona that you know, that is La Ramblas. Try to split the other part of Barcelona. It's quite bigger, no? So it's like when I, I was in, in New York, living in New York, yeah, I work in Manhattan, in the tourist of Spain, 666, 5th Avenue, 35th floor. I live in Queens, in Amherst. So you don't, you can visit Barcelona, but you can stay 20 minutes from Barcelona in a rural hotel, in a boutique hotel near to Barcelona, and you go there to visit and go out. Mm -hmm. And now the, the challenge in, in the Catalan government is to promote all these small destinations. It's a destination of destinations. Yeah. Huh? Destination is Catalonia, and then we have plenty of destinations. And Barcelona is the first one, of course, because you will arrive to Barcelona. But see, I don't, will... I don't think people realize that they can stay outside of the city. And we had this discussion also in Dublin, Ireland. I was talking with people from the Boyne Valley and it was the same kind of thing. They want to get people staying in their area, which is an hour from Dublin. And there's plenty to see and do. But And, and the, the room rates as well, the hotel rates are half. And I would imagine it's very similar in Catalonia. You get cheaper prices, less yes. traffic, right? You get all those, those benefits. So do we need to educate the travelers or do we need to educate the tour operators and travel agents? What, what's the, the equation here? Thanks. I think that we need to educate the the the, the tourist authority and the town government, no? And, and now it's uh, now is the the challenge in our in our and I participate uh, every week in a in a focus group. How we can split the travelers to Barcelona? How we can promote? And also, in terms of uh, tour operators, it's important the familiarization trip. The people need to know what's happened, what's going on in the in other towns, and that's a movement of different uh, attractions and resources that invite guide, tour guides, invite tour operate, incoming tour operators, invite uh, the the company, the drivers' company, you know, the the drivers' company that listen to arrive. You can go there. You can also who is. The, the companies that are in touch with the tourism, no, with the tourists, and know that it's easy to go from Barcelona to this town. It's 20 minutes. It's easy. Yeah. It, who needs to know this? The tour, the tour guide, the driver of the private company, the drivers, and the incoming tour operators. And also, we need all the fan trips that organize the Barcelona Tourist Authority. It's all about Barcelona only. No, 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 no. You need to include, if you are the Barcelona tourist office, you need to include a fan trip, of course, discovering Barcelona, but Barcelona much more. And you need to connect and you need to work with other uh, tourist authority from other towns that is not Barcelona. So it's a combination and it's a win-win. We need to go together. And but... solve, and, and, and solve this, this egoism, no? That, no, no, I'm only Barcelona. And I will do a fan trip only in Barcelona City. No, you are responsible to split the people that comes here. And one day, it's discover Barcelona much more. Now it's the way that they start working. And I think that in the come in the next in the, well the future, next future, uh, they will do this. No, this this uh, combining combining fan trips uh, between well, uh, towns and regions. You've got two things going on. And and in your case, in Catalonia, Girona is a very capable airport. It's it's a very good airport. It can support more capacity. And it's only a one-hour train ride from Barcelona. So it's, it's very doable. But I don't think a lot of people know about it. And also, at least before the pandemic, you had people that there weren't as many flights into Girona. So that, I think, is the problem. But I think there go, go, might be sir. an... 
issue as well, what you were saying about the fam trips and splitting them between say Barcelona and other areas because tax money goes to promote a single destination, right? Mm -hmm. And so how could the tax money in Barcelona or you know New York City or London or whatever be used to promote people going outside of that area? So it's a governmental border thing. What, what are your thoughts on those? Two issues. First, in terms of airport, uh, Girona Airport now and the new director plan uh, will become, hopefully, no, with the new government and with Spanish government, will become. They are now building the the third, the third, uh, so a complementary airport of Barcelona. Barcelona, it's already uh, collapsed, no. So will be the the third. Um, how we said the. Uh, the third highway, you know, of uh, Barcelona Airport first. Then you ne you know that Barcelona and uh, Catalonia uh, we have the the fast train, no, that connects Barcelona and Girona just with 35, 38 minutes, no. Oh. And they want yeah Barcelona Even Girona, faster. yeah faster. It's the new one. Well, it's the bullet for train. It's thirty eight minutes, but now they want to uh, connect the airport of Girona with Barcelona in the train, no, in a in a back and, and forward uh, train. So that's important in terms of infrastructure no, to help in a split all the tourism. And that's well a challenge. And I hope that in two, three years, we will have this connection that will help to move around the tourism. First, in terms of tax, you know that in Catalonia we have the tourist tax, the tourism tax that is uh, uh, managed by the government. This tourist tax that we re receive, the 50% goes directly to the uh, town, no, to the city hall of uh, where the the tax was uh, received, and the other, the 50%, the other, goes to the Catal the Catalan tourist authority, just, and they use this tax to promote destination. Now, uh, with the COVID, we we stop to. Um, collect this tax and now is the debate no what we need to do with this tax and i think that the the we are some tendencies use this tax not to promote no not to go to attract new demand but to help in develop new offers or that the offer that we have Probably the, the, the companies they can receive some some grants to uh, improve the products and goes for example in terms of sustainable products or sustainable itineraries. So use these tax not to promote and to to go to for the demand no, to the outgoing market, but uh, stays here to improve and to help the the local community uh, and in terms of sustainable no? so in it's uh i don't know now you know that well two days ago we have uh, elections in in our government so this is uh the main issue no how we will do we will maintain the tourist tax that's also some people don't want to maintain the tourist tax other one says we need to maintain the tourist tax yeah, but we need to manage different you know, in another way and and also in terms of sustainable things in terms of cultural maintain the the, the cultural heritage and the cultural uh, uh, resources you no know? but also uh, the tourists come here use our land they pay a tax and then we need to recover and to uh, rework with these uh, with these lands, no, and it's it's difficult. Uh, I think that uh, it's a lot of challenges, and sometimes it's I don't know if we have the right politicians uh, in front of the the governments to to work. And now is the time that all the public services needs to be managed between together with the private. So public and private collaboration. That's now it's the time that there's, the public services needs to be managed together with the private sectors yeah. and the, the the professionals, together That's with the, the strategic the strategic people that are in the government, but together with the private people that knows the reality yeah. 
yeah. of their own companies because uh, this is this was a it's a nightmare the COVID in terms of health first, but oh, now. I, I, in Let me just um, make sure the people know that questions are, are open for you and that we can mm -hmm. uh, put the questions in the chat window there. There was a question that had to do with if Catalonia ends up leaving Spain, do you mm -hmm. think that's going to make it easier for Catalonia to have more sustainable um, policies and practices? Or do you think it's better under Spain what's going on with the sustainability practices in Catalonia? I don't think that it's uh, um, in terms of sustainable doesn't matter if we are in or out. Okay. The sustainable it's it's a it's about worldwide. It doesn't matter if you are in in Spain, you are in France, because we are in Catalonia, we are border friends, we are close to friends, France, and to Spain. Uh, sustainable is it's not about uh, uh, political issues. Okay. It's uh, it's society responsibility. Okay. That's a matter if you are in, in this or that, no? All right. And there was another question about the attempt to limit the number of Airbnbs. Has that helped to support the local hotels? Is that succeeding? Yes. Uh, that's that's the. Uh, not only Airbnb, also these uh, the apartments. You no, know, the now uh, becomes a new law in uh, the tourism in the accommodation law that permits, for example, that you can uh, one of your rooms in your house can be also sold as a tourist room, no particulars. So uh, and anything that. If we want to the Airbnb, sometimes and uh, it's it's a new trend. But who is behind an accommodation? A professional or a citizen? That's that's the question. Eh? It's, it's all about professionals and also the same with the tour guides, the free tours. Everyone can be a guide. Everyone can be a chef. Everyone can be a waiter. Everyone can be a, a, a hotelier. It's like That's true. if you are making shoes, you are a shoemaker. So the professionalism of the tourist sector, it's all people can, well, my nephew will be a waiter this summer. Oh, listen, listen, listen. To be a waiter, it's a professional. I'm, I will not go to a hospital and say, I tomorrow I want to be a doctor. No, sorry. First, go to the university and be a doctor. Ah, tomorrow, I will be a lawyer. So I can be your lawyer. No, 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 no. Tomorrow, I will be the engineer and do the bridge. Uh, no, because I, I, I have to do a bridge. Rest, put, 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 the bridge is, is done. No, 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 no. You, in your imagine. No, I will be a, a doctor and I can go to a hospital and save people to the COVID. No, 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 no. Just, it's just to, I will give you a pill and then a vaccine and then clean things and I can be a nurse in the nursery. No, 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 no. So the same with our sector. We need professionals, right? You want, you want quality. The tourist wants quality, right? So we need professionals to give quality to a tourist. Yes, and that's so Airbnb, why... So Airbnb, Go on. the concept, the apartment, it's very nice. All right, of course, it can be a tourist apartment. But who is the ones that manage this apartment? Yeah. So, and of course, the people, the tourists, what they want. A room in a hotel? No, I want like... I want to be like a home, not like my home. Well, in your home, you're, what do you have? Oh, I have 200 meter, square meters apartment. Well, listen, so take the, the suite at the Hotel Ars in Barcelona and you will have 250 square meters. No, I want a room with a, a desk because probably I will stay here one month and this is the digital, the, the new traveler will be, I'll go to Barcelona and I will work 
from my room at the hotel, so I, will, I, I just I don't need a 16 square meter room. I need at least a 40 square meter room with bed, with a small salon, and with a desk, and I can put my computer. And if if I have a, a printer next to me, better. No. So probably we'll need to change, and that's a new trend. No. A big hotels with 140 rooms, they will convert in a hotel of 60 rooms, but bigger ones. Why? Because the travelers will come to Barcelona three days or four days for tourism, but 15 days working from Barcelona. Because they will, they will use Zoom, Meet, Teams, or whatever, because I don't need to go to stay presentially in my in my office and I can work and it's the new group the nom the the digital travelers digital nomads yeah digital nomads hey I just wanted to summarize the poll uh... so uh, Airbnb uh, will play I think will play uh, that's the the kind of accommodation that people are looking for. Well, and I think you you brought up a really good point too. There's there's you know everybody wants to do it, and in some of the discussions that we had over the past year, the discussions were: are there many? Are there too many food or beverage tour operators? And what would happen if some of them closed? And quite a few industry leaders said, you know what? There, there are too many, and if 10% of them went, went away, it would not be the end of the world. We should focus on quality and not quantity. And I think that we have observed this in, in tour companies and in tourist guides as well, where you have people that think it would be fun to create a tour company or to be a tourist guide, and they don't have the professional experience. And so we introduced our certification programs to to help to tackle this because it is it is a problem out there. There needs to be a level of professionalism, and yeah. um, poor tourists don't know if a company is is um, you know if if they're sustainable, if they've been around for a while, if they pay their vendors. You know, you don't really know. You know, you go to TripAdvisor and you see reviews. Oh, Susie was the best tour guide. Well, mm. Susie Susie's probably a great party planner, but how is she how is she about the guiding does she have the background on the history and the culture does she have the relationships with the local vendors um uh, you know it's 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 a hard thing um well it's for this reason that normally in our tours we do the local guide that that explains you the contents no the context and the the, the town etc and also it's uh together with a, a, another one that makes the experience no and normally this 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 other one it's myself no because it's the, the one that I'm in a tour guide in, in a tour guide uh, uh, in a tour in Girona and then I comes up with a shushu no the teacher's pastry and a coffee and I explain hey come into this pastry and I and I introduce you the the pastry maker and it's just five minutes hey Francesc look at these people that that's coming with Manel that is a tour guide and I and then combine this, no, and make make a make the wow moment that they say, no. Oh, that that's a coffee, but it's not uh, a coffee, uh, a regular coffee. No, no, no. It's a coffee made there that they have an, a special machine, and the coffee maker is from Girona, and then the shushu. So wait, you Sorry. are walking two hours now. Stop, and I appears like a hello, no. Or someone and get the story, hear the story, and get the story, and then and the experience, and and sometimes when we have the feedback, oh Manel, but I remember who is the guy that comes? Oh, it's Paul. Well, Paul, that it's a CEO, no, but and Paul. So and make these things, no. So it's all as the same as as initially, no. It's all about people, and people yes. make the difference. People yeah. make the difference in a destination. People make the difference in a destination. Paul, we need to wrap up right now. Yeah. But um, before we do that, I wanted to share the results of the polls with people. And the largest number of respondents was 42% where people had made moderate changes in one of the three 
sustainability areas above, which were economic, sociocultural, and environmental. And then there were other people who had made extensive changes in at least one of the areas. So I think people are trying. Only two respondents had not done anything with sustainability so far. Um, so it, it takes it takes time, it takes planning, it takes learning, education, talking to people. But uh, so just to summarize here, I think what I've learned from you today is, well, a lot of things, really. We talked about some of the packaging issues you face. Mm -hmm. We talked about some of the government policies that are out there and the need for public and private cooperation. Uh, we talked about over tourism and the need for new types of fam tours for both tour operators and travel agents to help them to see what the different opportunities are and that the fact that our industry needs true professionals and and when then we talked about that's why our association certifies tourist guides and tour operators um, Paul, it's been very interesting. Uh, I, I do get to Catalonia every so often, and I would love to have a meal with you and of uh, continue this conversation further. Uh, you've, of you're course. a very interesting guy. You are and... more than welcome, and all the people <laughs> that listen to this are more than welcome. And please, if someone comes to Catalonia and wants that uh, can help in develop their own itinerary just as advisor and and it's not about money it's it's about people i will be here uh for the people for the food travel talk tv he said paul give me a suggestion i will come by my own but give me a suggestion on restaurants of course if you identify yourself as a food travel talk tv uh, audience i will be delighted to give you uh, suggestions of restaurants, I will book my own travel. Of course, you don't need a tour operator sometimes, I understand. But if you need a person in a local that shares and helps and and be with you with a coffee, it will be fantastic because it's all about people and all over the world, I'm proud to have a lot of friends and not clients, a lot of friends. The food and drink are important, but the people yeah, are the most important. So a glass of wine, Eric, in Costa Brava. We will do it. We will of do course. it. Yeah, I'm oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much for this time, and I hope that will be interesting discussion. And, of course, is talking about food and travel is the best thing we can talk <laughs> about nowadays. That's why we're here. We love yeah. it. We all love it. All right. Thank you, Paul. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye, Kisses. everyone. Thank you, and we will see you next month. We will publish the date and topic for next month's Food Travel Talk TV shortly. Thank you all for attending today, and be well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.